Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Presbytery of New Hope. My name is Ted Churn, and I serve as your executive presbyter and stated clerk. Back in those days when we were able to worship together, I would be out in a number of our communities reminding everyone that we are all part of the Presbytery. The Presbytery is not a building in a special location. The Presbytery is a community of 111 churches that span the landscape from Mebane to the Outer Banks. When I first came into this position, I made it my goal to be out in every church throughout the Presbytery. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. I heard this wonderful children's message a while back. The preacher was talking about how the Apostle Paul used to visit all these different communities, the Corinthians, the Ephesians, the Philippians, the Galatians, the Colossians, to name some. And then the preacher said, what do you think it would have been like if they had Zoom back then? And she paused, and then she said, I think it would have blown Paul away. He could not begin to imagine what visiting and not really being present would have been like. I have worshipped at churches that are the furthest east and the furthest west of our presbytery, and I did it all in one morning, a distance that would have been maybe four to five hours apart. What's not to like about this new way of worship, this way where we can just sit in front of the screen and watch the worship service, this way that would have blown the socks off of Paul? Well, I'll tell you what's not to like. I miss being in community. I miss Sunday morning worship. I miss the morning conversations with sisters and brothers in Christ. I miss singing together. I miss confessing the faith together. I miss listening to that children's sermon that teaches me a thing or two. And I miss the sermon. Paul's letter to those communities were personal. Each one was unique. And you know why? Because he knew those people. He visited their homes. He knew their sufferings. He knew their joys. He knew their shortcomings. He knew their challenges. He knew their fears, and he knew their hopes. In his letter to one of the communities, the Thessalonians, Paul writes in the second chapter of 1 Thessalonians this, But since we were torn away from you, brothers and sisters in Christ, for a short time, in person, but not in heart, we endeavored the more eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you. I eagerly await that day when we can see each other face to face, that day when I can once again strive toward the goal of being in every church. In the meantime, I give thanks. Thanks for the God who holds us together in spirit, and for the leaders in your respective communities of faith, those who love the church, those who have led so faithfully and will continue to do so throughout these days of separation. I long to be with you, and I look forward to that day. In the meantime, I ask you to please stay safe and stay well, as we hope for the day when we can once again gather together and glorify our living God. Grace and peace to you.